Schmidt House in Tumwater, Washington, near Olympia. I'm going to meet up with the plein air Washington artist and do a, a quick figure painting live session. Here's the Schmidt House. It's near the Tumwater Falls Park and the Tumwater Historical Park. Pretty little area right next to I-5. A little bit noisy from the highway. Got a pretty rose garden here. Figure painting and drawing is a great exercise. It really takes careful observation and a lot of practice. If you get the human body or the human face just a little bit out of proportion, you lose the likeness and you can make a really awkward looking drawing very quickly. If you get the drawing wrong, then the painting will likely not work. There's not a lot you can do adding rendering or modeling or more color more contrast on top of a bad drawing to save it. So I really like to practice drawing the figure, the face, whenever I can. There's a bunch of great resources on YouTube. I'll put a couple of the links in the description. Hey, I'm going to interrupt here and show you here in the studio how I approach drawing the figure. Now, I'm self-taught figure drawing. Um, I say self-taught, but I've looked at books and I've also watched YouTube videos and picked up things from others. So I'm not completely self-taught, but I haven't really taken any kind of formal class in figure drawing. So you may have a better method. This is the method I follow. When I'm painting, I follow the same method. I just use a brush um, to draw instead of a pencil or a piece of charcoal. So let me show you real quickly how I approach drawing the figure. This is just a piece of sketch paper on a drawing board and I've got a 2B pencil here. This is a Tombow, nice quality. You can see I've taken the, the wood way down um, with a razor blade and then I sand the point to a really sharp point with a piece of sandpaper. And that's nice because then you can shade a big area or you can draw a fine line with the tip. You do have to kind of practice at sharpening it this way. It's easy to break the lead. Um, and you also need to practice drawing because it's easy to break the lead again when you're drawing. If you try to draw like this, it's better to draw at a really um, low angle close to the paper. Got a photo of a lady standing here. Now the portrait I was, the painting I was working on had the ladies sitting. I think it's easier to explain the Riley method with a standing figure to begin with. So to begin, place the head on the paper, place it up toward the top. I want to get the whole figure, so I'm going to make the head kind of small. And it's roughly egg shaped. average human is seven or eight head heights tall. Just I'll roughly measure out eight head lengths for the height. The reference photo is a tall slender woman. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It gets easier with practice. Um, when you first start to use this method, you, you'll take a lot of time just measuring and re-measuring. But believe me, with practice it gets quite a bit easier. Next is place the shoulders. So at this point you can add a little bit of detail to the head just to make sure it feels right and fits on the paper correctly. But I wouldn't add too much because you may find that you change the head once you get the body in. I commonly find that I make the head too small and so I have to go back a little bit later and enlarge the head for some reason. It's just a, a quirk in my drawing. The more I 
practice, the better I get at it. Leading the reference photo has sunglasses, so I can sketch those in. Nose, mouth. The head is kind of tipped forward, so the chin is foreshortened. Okay, now I can place the neck. And I'll place the shoulders. This shoulder is slightly back. Now, the crotch is halfway in a standing figure normally. So, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Here's the middle. So, I can place the crotch in a standing figure. The crotch is normally directly below the center. It's right along the center line. And if the figure has a gesture, then you want to draw some kind of sweeping line. The reference photo I'm looking at, she's standing pretty much straight up and down. So I can just draw this straight. Now you want to draw a line from the bony structure of the shoulder also to the crotch from each shoulder. Next you want to draw on the hips. Her hips, I can measure on the photo roughly, are right about at this shoulder. and just a little bit in from this shoulder. Draw a line down along the neck to the outside of the hip. Her hips are slightly sloped. So I'll draw on a rough line like that. Now I draw a circle for the chest cavity which is just roughly one and a half heads in height. And then another smaller circle for the solar plexus area. And now I have a rough idea of her rib cage and a rough idea of her abdomen. I can take and pull down her arms, just roughly following the reference photo. Her breasts will be a heart shape, so start at the this cavity in the neck, the base of the neck, where the two lines come together, and draw an upside down heart. Now next I place the foot. I can see in the drawing that the forward leg, this forward leg, is stretching down. The perspective is showing the foot at a slight angle, coming down a little bit lower, and the heel is right about here, right on the center line. So I can then draw a nice cylinder down to the heel. And for this leg. This one curves back behind and this heel is 
just barely visible, right about here. The knees are roughly halfway. And you can fine tune the drawing from there. There's a rough idea of the Loomis method, and you can find lots of great tutorials on this method and practice for years and years to try to master figure drawing and portrait drawing. Another great avenue to pursue to improve your drawing. Right, at this point, I'm not going to narrate a lot. It's my usual process. I carefully match the colors to what I'm seeing in the scene. I try not to overreact to light changes. There's a point in the middle of the video where I'm painting where the light really comes out strong and highlights the umbrella. It creates a beautiful different scene. And I was really tempted to chase that, but I didn't. I took some photos and I have the video of it. I could go back and paint this again maybe on a larger scale with that lighting. It would have been easy to really amp up the value, the degree of lightness of the umbrella, but then the whole scene would be out of balance. The rest of the scene is kind of a more subtle light with just a little bit of light hitting the umbrella and almost casting a green glow on the model's skin. There's so much green in the scene that the subtle grayed out red of her dress and of her face really pop against the green scene. So if I would have thrown that sunlit umbrella in, um, reacting to the light change, it were, I think it would have thrown the harmony off. All right, so I'm here with a bunch of Pawa Plain Air Washington artists. This is... My name is Candy Smith. I'm painting in oil. Wonderful. I'm not so used to doing figure, but um, came here for the challenge. Wonderful. Nice so to meet you, Candy. Here. Can Thank I take you. a look sure. at what you got so far? Yeah. Oh, beautiful little setup. Beautiful easel. <laughs> and a 
Ah, I see your painting coming along, looking good. What do you, what is that substrate? What do you mean? The panel that you're painting with? Oh, I don't know what I, what it is. Like a linen type, yeah, but canvas? Yeah, something I picked up. I picked up a bunch of different things. Very nice. Thank Looks you. like you're having fun. Um, yeah, challenging. <laughs> And this is Janelle. You've met Janelle before. Hi. She arranged this. She's the president of Pawa. So thank you, Janelle, for arranging this. Absolutely. My pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you got a beautiful color harmony coming along. Nice composition. You got both figures in there. Thank you. Fantastic. I'm trying, trying to get in all the colors and then modify the shapes. Well, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's appearing out of the canvas. This is Joan. How long have you been with Pawa? Uh, a couple of years. A couple of years. Yep. Great. And you're working in oil as well? Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Blocking in. Color, shape, value. Beautiful glow to the skin. Okay. I like it so far. And then our lovely models. We've got Jennifer and Shauna. Nice to meet you ladies. Thank you for doing this. We really appreciate it. And then last but not, not least, working in pastels. How's it coming? Well, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a struggle, but it's coming. Oh, I like your choice in the background color. That's great. And I'm Jan. Jan. Mm -hmm. Good to see you again, Jan. As I'm nearing completion, I'm just going to suggest the foreground, the grass, the blanket, the items on the blanket, the wine bottles, and the picnic basket. I'm just going to suggest those in a very impressionistic way. Same thing with the shoes, just a few lines, a few colors. That should be enough. The focus should be on the model, the umbrella, and the model's face. I'm not going to have a chance to complete the model's face here. I'll go back to the studio and with a little steadier hand and a fine brush, I'll try to copy the colors that I captured outdoors, but also map in, suggest the model's face. The model is in shade. There's not a lot of value contrast or color contrast in her face, so it's going to be a very subtle painting of her face. The whole scene is kind of subtle light, which I like. Oh, that's great. Let's just take, it's like I said, in here, let's take So I guess we think I smoked it. Can I see where you ended up? Very nice. Oh wow. Nice color harmony. Very Asian. Is it? I like that, yeah. <laughs> Muted. That's really pretty. Well, yeah, because I didn't have, um, I don't have my uh, cadmium yellow, so I'm using the cadmium yellow deep and it's all kind of a different. Yeah, I like it. That's, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. How did you end up, Janelle? Yeah, yeah, you kept that nice composition, that nice color harmony that, that you had from the start. Very nice. She's got some attitude, not like that. <laughs> <laughs> nice capture of the pose. <laughs> How about you? How did you end up? Oh, wow. Oh, I'm not sure. I'll probably 
I <laughs> that happens too, but I yeah. I like that color combination, the kind of muted jade green in the background and the rich warm skin tones. Very nice. Yeah, I do like that. That's... I can Most probably bring it back to life when I go home, but I don't know if I want to put the time in. Yeah, I'm gonna have to put the face the features in when I get mine home. I I need a fine brush and a steady hand and I think I'm yeah. done for now. I just find like cleaning the car back. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. find> <laughs>